morning everybody welcome to a what is a dry cold but sunny Berwick morning thanks for joining me on the channel I'm going to confess I have actually fitted the radiator however there is another problem the engine is locked and it won't start can't even turn it over with a breaker bar now before I fitted the new radiator while the old one was fitted I did start the engine turn it over and it did work however since then it seems to have locked I suspect the water pump, I'm not sure, so today we're going to investigate and see if we can figure out why the engine won't move. I will confess to you that I did have Rob here yesterday and we did remove the starter motor, swap the solenoids over for the old starter motor and refit it and it's exactly the same. That took about six hours because it's a real pain to do the starter motor on these cars. It took about six hours, made no difference whatsoever, so that was a complete waste. Now I know that the engine isn't hydrolocked with coolant because the coolant level is still the same so it's not that so I'm suspecting we thought this the idler pulley for the aircon was stuck but that's not it either so today I'm going to remove this and I'm going to re back off the alternator then we'll see if the water pump seized if that's not seized then it's going to be a new engine job I reckon but anyway we'll see how it goes Okay, so where am I at? The problem I have is I've had to take the intercooler off the uh, intake pipe just to get access to the alternator I've taken the battery off here and the connections off the other side so we're all completely isolated now we've got to get these out of the way release the alternator underneath that so we'll have to remove the air conditioning compressor so we can access the alternator underneath, release the tension on the belt, see if the water pump will turn. That's where we're at. All right, everybody, I've got the, all, the air conditioning pump off. It's set aside. I've disconnected the earth leads and there are three options here. The engine's either locked for another reason. It was either locked because the compressor was seized and it isn't, or the pulley, and that isn't, or the water pump seized. And I've got the belt slack and I can't turn the water pump so I'm hoping upon all things that the water pump has seized because that if the bearing is collapsed inside it that is enough to cause the engine to be solid rock solid and I don't want to take the engine out if I have to and I know it ran before so I'm hoping it's a water pump and I've got a couple of water pumps so I'm good with that so we'll see well everybody here's the news water pump is not seized Ah, so I've just got to hope that something else is seized, right? Ain't the alternator? It must be the engine. Let's take these belts off. Ah, I didn't need that. I'm going to try turning the engine over, if it doesn't turn over now and we're in trouble because if it won't turn over now then the head's locked I'm going to take this cover off today and uh, take the glow plugs out and see if I can release it that way see what the score is ok, quick final update, uh, it started to rain so I'm just wrapping everything up, took the uh, oil rail and the injectors out and I've stuck the endoscope down the bores
and it appears there's some coolant in number three now number three is down at the bottom so i'll be surprised if that's the issue it's causing the engine to be locked up but uh, i'm gonna have to take the cylinder head off i think by the look of it so i'm gonna leave that till it's dried up a bit maybe tomorrow see how we go thanks for watching guys